Do black lives actually matter? Coming to you from a Latino, I mean Latinx. Registered Democrat from Los Angeles, California. Trump 2020, motherfuckers. I knew it, a white supremacist. Um, <laughs> I think uh, it's no telenovela, no TV drama, um, no drama TV show that's as comical or entertaining <laughs> as what's going on in the world today. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think, uh, is it Minneapolis or Atlanta, Atlanta cops? Uh, they had a blue flu last night, and a lot of cops, because uh, they can't quit or strike because of the union, called in sick after one of the cops was charged with murder, of shooting a piece of shit in the back, I mean a suspect in the back after the suspect fought the cop while drunk for being pulled up, for being suspected of a DUI and uh, about to get arrested, he fights the cop, gets the taser, points it at his fucking face. The cop draws his gun, fires two rounds, kills the piece of shit. What improves the world? Your choice. And it's pathetic, but I will do it. You know, because people say, man, you're racist. You know, one of my brothers is black. Um, I like dating black women. I like fucking black women. I think black women are fucking amazing. It was an honor to meet uh, Dr. Benjamin Carson years ago. And when he ran for president in 2016, I was like, he's got a shot, man. But, uh, you know, people say, well, that's not good enough. Have a black baby, have a caramel baby. You're racist. Um, yeah, we saw my who I call, who I hang out with, who I have lunch with, who I fuck. Um, different ethnicities, income levels beliefs and you know and it it's silly uh, I read in the comment section a lot of these Black Lives Matter shit topic videos that uh, people who prefer vanilla ice cream over chocolate ice cream are white supremacists or, or some shit like that. It's hard to um, not what good is it really to point a finger at the Communist News Network or ABC or Telemundo or Univision for their spreading of communist propaganda, socialist fucking behavior and other shit. And all, all I know is that I could, all I could do is focus on this, focus on me. And I, I don't want to sound or think that, yeah, be a cowboy, man. Be selfish. All about me, 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 me. No. No, but I, I could recognize um, what's out there, all the shit that's out there. Uh, the greatest enemy on, on American soil. It's not just the uh, MS-13 gang or 18 or the Bloods or the Crips or the Klan or Antifa. Because I think overall the underlying factor between all these motherfuckers are 
greatest enemy on American soil, worldwide actually, Middle East, Asian, secular or non-secular, village or town or city, is uh, ignorance, man. And it, it's disturbing that um, And that, that people believe that they're a victim, that they're being oppressed. <laughs> and uh, no doubt that you're more likely to, be, to become homeless than to become a billionaire, statistically speaking. Oh, why would you know? We know what, what the FBI statistics, um, not going off, off the numbers, how many billionaires, how many homeless there are. I'm more scared of getting killed by a drunk driver than uh, a cop. Um, more concerned of uh, being robbed by a local gang member or thug than a cartel. I'm more concerned about catching herpes, hepatitis, A, B, C, D, F, G than Corona. Or that uh, special flavor of uh, tuberculosis that's here in Los Angeles that's uh, Mostly carried by the, the homeless. And I think what they called it, it's called like the Dark Ages. The plagues of the Dark Ages, I believe. Not the Black Plague, but something else. And, and it's strong and healthy here. Uh, and, and it's distracting because, you know, I think it's all mixed in with the coronavirus, the lockdown, the piece of shit governor. Um, yeah, we need to require all people to wear masks still. Uh, I love uh, helping out illegals. And this is the same governor who um, told his security, well, look, I don't feel like, safe with my family here with these Negroes and Mexicans and these far-right agenda motherfuckers in the governor's mansion. So let's move my family to another mansion that the taxpayers pay for it with more security and a higher gate. That's him, you know, Mr. Open the Borders and Trump's a racist because he has a wall. It's going to be a nice gate. Be beautiful gate. Beautiful gate around his home. Governor's uh, new address. Still wearing mask, you know that's been killing my boners lately. It's uh, seeing a nice fat ass and some bitch, and I'm thinking, mm mm mm. And she turns around, and I see her fucking fucking mask on her face, and I think, yeah, these are the same dimwits that uh, <laughs> that will say Black Lives Matter, but. Uh, they're not eating at Popeye's chicken or Roscoe's chicken and waffles or shopping anywhere on, on the Shaw, Crenshaw. Is that the Crenshaw Mall? Open up shops on Figueroa, Century, Normandy. What's the other track over there? Or in Watts or in Compton, in Oakland and Detroit. First part are streets, not naming cities. And, uh... Let's see, we'll call it not, not eugenics, let's call it. Gentrification. I remember someone I think from Chicago said, uh, "That's what the white people do. Uh, they um, 
buy the property, build, and move the poor people out. And they say, no, they're putting their, they're betting money that it's going to return, that they're going to, it's going to return in rental properties, business rentals, um, and uh, get their money back and more people will do it and follow. And as a result, capitalism, you know, there's high demand, land just doesn't grow on a tree. And uh, there it is, man. I was petting my, uh, my dog the other day. And I started thinking of all these distractions because my dog's just thinking, hey, uh, is there any bacon or any bacon in, in breakfast or dinner tonight? I think you had bacon in that, that turkey club sandwich earlier you had. Is there any left over? And as I'm pondering, you know, possible civil war, um, the corruption, throughout the uh, various level of government in America and throughout the world. I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting distracted and not enjoying a thousand percent time with my dog, man. Dog, dogs. And, uh, and also I'm not saying, yeah, fuck it, man. I let it all fix by itself. No. It's as simple as saying, if this, people say uh, Black Lives Matter, I'll say, well, you're more likely to die from, um, black man's more likely to die at the hands of another black man than the, the cop. Um, stop deportations. And I say, you know, you know, people don't want to look at what country are they fleeing and why? What corrupt government is there? What cartel? What drug, you know? crime organization is there that's making them flee. The people are with these fucking stupid beaners are saying, yeah, you know, we, well, we're happy with what we got, but we deserve more. And they say, you know, these punks, they, they don't dare step up to uh, the Mexican government. You know, go ahead and, and check out what happens to you if you protest about your own missing daughter. a woman in Mexico who um, protested for years at uh, I believe her city hall and uh, because the kidnapper and murderer I think she's got weeks in jail and uh, she wanted justice and uh, I think there was cooperation with the gang and the politicians there and the police so she was murdered, gunned down in front of City Hall, and no no one was um, blamed or convicted for that murder. But it's funny, you know, that there's, I'm, I'm a strong Latino, Latinx, Latina, and they're fucking chicken shit when it's just one motherfucker with a gun. See, that motherfucker's got to sleep. <laughs> motherfucker has to sleep. His private vein isn't that good. Stand up and fight, and it has, it has put me more in the sense of you. You know what? Just let it burn. Let it get stolen. Let them get mugged. Because I've already stood up uh, for enough people. I've already saved enough uh, businesses, property, other people's lives, and my own life. And now with, uh, you know, we're basically the heroes and now the the criminals. The cops are being charged with murder. being fired um, or was it um, whatever that that New York or New Jersey uh, riot squad was uh, they all quit after two of them I think got charged for pushing that old man 
Didn't want to get out the way. Yes, it's fucked up. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, there are DUI points, crime scenes, riot control. And I'm not going to go ahead and slip up to these cops or fire department. Um, well, you know, I'll just go around. I'll just go around. Yeah, but some people don't see it like that. Some people say, well, no. I had a rough day. There was no soy lattes at my Starbucks and 15 minutes in traffic. I deserve um, whatever. Stop oppressing me. Uh, this is one dumbass. Uh, I like, going, I like uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels is How to Hunt. Bigfoot stories and uh, other hillbilly country stuff. Enjoy it very much. But I've been writing uh, on a lot of Bigfoot uh, channels. Either I write Michelle Obama's Beautiful Charming, Michelle Obama's The Most Beautiful Sasquatch Ever, da, uh, Ch Chelsea Crane is The Most Beautiful Dog Man in Politics. If Ann Coulter had a fucked up attitude, or was uh, a piece of shit like the like uh, the race baiting Obama and the evil Benghazi, the butcher of Benghazi, Hillary, I would um, choose her name because she's she I think she's an ugly, ugly skeleton. But um, so no, it's not about. You know, picking out on women, it's just ugly ass people or ugly ass characters. But some some women was like, you know, I think what you just said was offensive or with bad intentions. Keep your ugly thoughts to yourself. And I replied with, uh, "Stop oppressing me." I bet you're a Trump. <laughs> I bet you're a Trump supporter and a white supremacist. Leave me alone. Stop uh, limiting my freedom of speech or some shit like that. She took the bait, and um, I got five. She said, "I got five kids, and I'm spread love and joy." And I think, you know, this bitch is telling me to shut, keep my comments to myself. It, and it's like that people will justify that they're the good guy. Me, I'm a motherfucker. Um, better you than me, generally speaking. And I, and I had that better you than me attitude because I believe the David Goggins rule of, of uh, you know, most of us are living at 40% capability in action. And I'm a bit lost because I feel that for me to to speak my thoughts, it's hard to speak my thoughts than to, than to communicate my thoughts clearly because they, they could be the wrong ones. What do you mean um, all lives, what do you mean all lives matter? You know, how much are you going to donate to um, the oppression? Fuck that now. If anything, the Chinese are oppressing me. If if anybody, or Nike, or um, Nike with the overpriced shit, overpriced shoes, or Jordans, uh, China with their um, undercutting shit, using slave labor to build shit for America, for goods in America. But but you know what um. 
No, man, there, there's so much freedom and choice in life, man. So much of it. I'm, I'm not oppressed of being, you know, victimized. It is stupid people. <laughs> It is stupid people that are um, inconveniencing my experience of life. It is discouraging when I see cowards, scumbags, vipers, snakes, just um, play the victim or play the good guy. Do Black Lives Matter? Look at FBI statistics. Let let read them. Murder rate. Um, do Black Lives Matter? Go live in a black neighborhood. It's cheaper rent. Uh, there's probably a lot of free parking, a lot of parking on the streets. Um, Needed more black restaurants. Again, uh, here in Los Angeles is Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, which I recommend. What's that? What's that chicken fried spot? It's overrated, but people like it. Rick Dandy's. Ron Dandy, something like that. Um, date. Start dating black people. That's it, man. All right, that's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. Trump 2020. There are no easy days, just days in which, well, in which potential was not fulfilled.